everyone, Joshua Hanlon here at Nebraska Brick Days, and today we've got a massive pirate layout for you, and I've got the three builders here that are going to take us through it, so you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Steven Romsberg. I'm Jeremy Smith. Michael Orphan. Okay, thank you so much, and I love this layout. We're going to start with this island right here, so if you want to tell us a little bit about what you do on this island, then we'll make our way around. All right. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it, it's a treasure island, it, and uh, we've placed a lot of different um, Easter eggs, kind of popular cultural references in there for the kids and, and for the classic fan as well. So the, you'll see the typical Islander type set up there. And then, but, but then there's Scrooge McDuck, there's um, <laughs> Doctor Who over there, uh, Metal Beards on the side, and some of the Disney princesses on, uh, on the other uh, coast over there. But uh, we, try to, we try to stay, uh, make it, uh, try to put some realism in there, but also keep it to that kind of play level that kids usually might uh, associate with. So that's what we tried to do. And, and you'll see some, uh, the, you know, the brick, uh, brick um, uh, treasure house, so, so to speak, and a cave that uh, it's kind of like a temple. Or, I'm, not, I'm not sure where we're going with that, but, <laughs> but it's somewhere in between. So, and then some of the huts we tried to, because uh, Islanders is a weird theme because is it Caribbean or is it Polynesian? We don't know because pirates should be in the Caribbean. But anyway, I tried to lean it towards the Polynesian theme, and uh, I think it came out real well. I mean, and then the main thing is we tried, we all collaborated together to make the, you know, we tried to make the similar island shapes and, and sizes, and, uh, and, and it, it, you know, so that's why we had to actually rebuild all this so we all match together. And, but it, it's a labor of love. We, we, we love to collaborate and do stuff like this. So. Yeah. One thing I noticed, you also have lights in some of the different sections here as well, right? Yeah, yes. we just started adding yeah. lights. So the last two weeks or so, we, we got some light kits that we've had for a while and, and then some custom LED stuff so we can make some effects. So yeah. hopefully by, uh, by Lincoln in the fall, uh, we'll have everything lit up on the on the whole table. So. And, and probably add sound to it yeah. as well. Yeah, so. we do have sound, sound bite stuff. We just didn't have time to get it in there. Yeah. That's exciting, though, adding more in the future. So let's kind of walk around the corner over there, and then we'll get to, get to the other island uh, as we go around. So uh, the newest build stuff that we've put on the table, obviously the volcano is uh, it's about a five- or six-day build, kind of just last minute we decided to put one on. Uh, it's been a really big hit. Everybody says they love the way it looks, so that's cool. Uh, I, I took my hand at building a Kraken, and everybody builds them with the mouth open now ever since they've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, so I wanted something a little different. This one's just coming up from the bottom and grabbing a, a small ship, so I really like it, and it's been a really big hit too. Um, the corner stuff, I'm, a, I'm an old guy, so I've had pirate stuff since I was a kid. So we have a little bit of mock and a little bit of classic vintage sets, and we kind of put them together to make a cove. Um, I like showing, I know most people like a ton of mocks, but I like putting a, a lot of classic sets in too because of the older generation that remember I didn't have enough money to buy that, but I loved it. So we put those on, and, and uh, it's been a big hit. Like I said, our, our goal is to have everything mocked by the end of the year. Um, we just finally got base plates. We used to have just uh, uh, blue sheets and then put everything on, but we got our base plates, our volcano, lighting. This was our goal for this season, so we've done pretty good getting where we're at. And I love some of the details over here, if we can show this, John. Uh, oh, so you've got pirate. the Pirate Co. We call it Snake Island, and it's kind of where all the pirates bring their treasure and stick it in the back. So. It's really hard to display because I want people to see inside, but I want it realistic. So it's really, hey, it's a mountain on one side, but it's it's actually full of treasure. So, and then how about that giant pirate ship we have okay. right here? So this is my when I started back into Lego, I had a dark age where I kind of got out of it. So about 2014, 15, I got back in, and uh, the Brick Bounty and a couple of the other ships, you know, came out. And I basically just took a couple sets and collectively built a mock out of them. Um, it's really gaudy. It's got really stacked cabins and everything. But uh, the tradition of play style, it's more like what a kid likes. So, And I love that style. I think it looks fun. So it's fully stocked. It's got full interior. And like I said, all the ships that are on the table, all the custom ships are all full interior ships. So uh, we don't get to show the inside very often. But like I said, I like it. The goal is to do custom sales, which uh, I print a few. I print these um, kind of just to reproduce some of the stuff that Lego's already done. So, but that's the the good thing about the pirate line is all the guys that build they like custom sales. So we're we're trying to get there. So we're still young. Our our lug is only about two years old now. So you know we're kind of fresh at it. We're kind of new guys on the block. So we love it. 
That's okay, you know, everybody starts somewhere and this is a great start. Before we go any further with the other ships, let's take a look at the island over there. Uh, my pirate island, I basically I bought the three in one pirate ship, I mocked it, and then I was like, I need a pirate island, so <laughs> I built the basic pirate island with treasure hunting, where they're digging up the treasure, and then a hangman's cove with the dead pirates and just hanging out and uh, man, what else? I got uh, <laughs> What I like is the, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> the, uh, the guy hanging out with the, the shells over there, the crabs, and then my, uh, oh, I can't think of her name now. I had a name. Uh, the for mermaid her. over there yeah. on the corner? Yeah. <laughs> and I got, uh, and then I got uh, shipwreck, had to have classic shipwreck on the rocks, and then I found sloth, and he was just have fun for pirates. There you go. So lots of fun kind of references in there. Some great scenes as well. Exactly. There's a uh, cave on the other side. It's hard to see. So it leads to like dinosaur land. It has two dinosaurs on the end. And so. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Good work. Yeah, thank so, you. so then we'll keep moving to the some more of the, the pirate ships here. So uh, the last part of it is basically the Redcoat Fort which uh, my son, he's not here right now, but he helped build a lot of it. So he was really proud of how we put it back together. Um, and then obviously since we had a big port, we had to do a man of war ship. So he helped me kind of mock the ship on the other side of the table there, the big long ship. So, but we've had a really good time with it. All the little islands, like I said, back to classic sets. And then we did a lot of mock islands around them. So a little collaborative of everything, Pirates of the Caribbean, some of the old pirate line stuff from 2015, 2019, so, but. Let's take a closer look at some of the details on the, the fort over here. So you've got lots of great soldiers. What are, what all is happening here? Okay, so traditionally they would have like a prison fort. Um, this isn't, you know, basically a fort for a lot of nice people. This is kind of rugged fort. So the inside is a prison and the pirates have kind of did a prison break on the inside and are held in, hold all the people hostage. Um, all the troops on the outside and the, uh, the judge who's passing sentence on them and there's actually hang hangman's news, but they're actually so busy they're not seeing that the pirates are breaking out from the inside. So uh, this was just kind of a fun build and it's kind of taken on its own little shape here and there. But the port is a collective of sets that we just kind of mocked them, kind of rearranged them the way we wanted them because they made them to where you could snap them together any different direction. So we made, made the small port and then just added the ships around it. Uh, the pirate battle, we like the classic ships. Um, it's got what they said, play action. It's one of the very few ships from the old lines that actually had it. So we like it because the mass can lay down and you can make it look like it's actually being attacked and sunk. So I had a really good time with it. It's a good time. <laughs> And I love, I think, is that the Pirate Bay idea yeah. set in the middle there? And what, what's so great about that is that set's so fantastic. It just fits in flawlessly and with the rest the of it. We really left it all original. The only thing we did was we added uh, waves to the shoreline around the outside to give it a little bit of better better placement on the table. But other than that, we added a few minifigs. But it's such a good-looking set. Um, I opted not to put the sails on it. I just I, I have a problem rolling them up, so I don't want to didn't want to roll them up, but I really love the set. It goes really well between the new and the old sets. So uh, eventually we've got enough parts now, we're gonna actually add on to it, make it a little bit bigger whenever we get to the next show. So, but yeah, we had a really good time. I put it on there. A lot of people haven't seen it displayed. They see pictures of it. So I like to put it on the table just so people could see what it looks like built. So how do you guys plan for the collaborative layout like this then in terms of space and who's bringing what? Well. How we got the width and the length of the table is basically this is as big as I can build in the basement. And this is sets up all the time. We, when we get home, we set it all up just the same way. So we can actually physically move and adjust things. And we don't have to tear it back down until we go take it to a show. So the islands just kind of took on their own form. Uh, Steven started his first, and we kind of followed suit when we built the other islands. And we're kind of evolving. Like I said, building mock islands is still kind of new to us. So we're uh, we're learning some new techniques as we go and like I said for the future I think that's what we want to do we want to change all the sets out to actual mock sets and uh, get rid of this the the standard set stuff so but like I said it's it's kind of an ever-evolving thing the good thing about doing it on plates and uh, each island is done basically uh, in mills uh, kind of a mill setup to where you can separate the islands into pieces 
So whenever we get done, we'll shift it around, and each time we can kind of move the islands where we want. So. That's great. Well, I'm excited to see you guys continue to work yeah. on this in the future. Thank you for all the work you did no bringing problem. this to the show. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having us.